Welcome back to Boom World. Who's the Boom King? Oh, Jesse the Boom King. It's like... She's so hot. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember to fix the home zone here. Or not the home zone, the uh, animal zone. <laughs> I want to tell her how hot she is, but she'll think I'm being sexist. She's so hot, she's making me sexist. Bitch. Name a ZG20 Casio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I own both Flight of the Concords records on vinyl. I can quote them all I want. It's loud. <laughs> it's just, it's just too real. <laughs> Wait, the, the she's so hot she's making me sexist or what? Yeah, yeah. Who's the boom king? Eric's the boom king. Apparently. Yeah. I mean, I mean that I uh, I see that online all the time. Boom king. That type of. Uh, yeah, that that type of person. Oh, oh, the unironic point of the Concords bit. Yes, the unironic oh. part of the... Uh, oh, okay. That's uh, type of that, yeah. Oh, uh, we got a ground penetrating scanner. So that is scan work type. Jesse, I don't think would ever... Well, no, Jesse had a druid. I think he just used it for herbology, but he had a druid. What? Fry oh, is I surprised see. that Jesse is a boomkin. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. I mean, I no, I had a. I remember you having a level druid, druid at sure. some point. I thought Jesse played a shaman. He mostly, did. mostly. But like, you have alts for bit. different professions. You gotta. Okay. When you when you play by yourself for so long. Yeah. I played rogue originally, then I switched to shaman, and then I switched back to rogue, and then I switched back to shaman. Dabbled in most classes at one point or another to fry you will always be an orc rogue yeah that was my little character I had at the end of vanilla at the end of vanilla i had a a ranger night elf in like as i always do alliance scum <laughs> yeah i was undead rogue and then i my guild broke up over raiding drama it, mm -hmm. In the sense that we couldn't raid because we couldn't get enough people together consistently, and so everybody split off into different raiding guilds. Right. Uh, which was the biggest problem I had with World of Warcraft always was fucking all the good people having to raid and never being able to get groups together to do it, so they had to split up and move to different guilds. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I quit the server over that. Then when I came back later in vanilla, like fucking probably one patch later or something, was all I could stay away at that point. Started an orc rogue on a PvP server, and that was my first PvP server. And then I stayed I, PvP server until I quit later. Many, many expansions. I mean, I quit I all the time, never, but I quit yeah. for good at Legion. <laughs> Although I did read a article. Now. I did read an article about the new expansion today. So there's that little part of me that's like, <laughs> you remember all the good times you had when playing MMOs? Thankfully, there's enough bad times that have accumulated that I'm able to talk myself out of it just as easily. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, but you remember all the fucking time waste that never amounted to nothing? Particularly current day Blizzard. Yeah, also, like... you remember how bad Blizzard is as a company, right? <laughs> Honestly, that's the thing doing the most heavy lifting now is, like, it doesn't take that much effort for me to, like, find good reasons to not play Blizzard games. They've done that. They've done that service. Fry was vanilla okay. undead priest, but then rolled a blood elf paladin and burning crusade and stayed that way until oh, uh, Pandaria. That was actually the last character I played was an undead priest because I played fucking classic for like a month or two. Damn. Mm. I forgot about that. I got to like level twenty nine or thirty nine. I was like, nah, I'm good. I remember yeah. I remember why I don't play this shit anymore. Yeah. Like, oh I yeah, have, this, it have... wasn't that this game was good. It's just that all the other MMOs in 2004 were fucking garbage. Yep. <laughs> uh, still got 
Eric missing. Let me pause. Classic for me was a uh, night elf hunter. Still, I, I'm because... shitting on it, but there there's elements of it that are like classic. Well, yeah. There's I mean, there's a reason those servers have right continued up. to succeed. Go ahead, I'm caught up. So. Oh, okay. Uh, we got a dry turret that needs rearming. I'm gonna go do that. I just like classic. It had to be, and that's why I had the vanilla night elf. Is like aesthetically, that's the only class that went for me. Because I want to say in vanilla, you couldn't be a human hunter. I think that's correct. So I I had to be a hunter, and I didn't want to be a dwarf. Oh, we had an inspired taming that just expired. Shit. Was there even anything worth going for, though? I, I think at this point there's nothing yeah. worth going for. Yeah. No. I, I think we got, we got Rexes. I think we're done. Yeah, we have all the big teams. Well, Spinos, I don't know what they do. I'm curious. Area revealed. It is a really? hole in the wall with nothing in it. Bunch of steel. Where the kids can see it all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we should probably hunt some more shit on the map. What do you think we should hunt? Bobby Moynihan. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, we're hunting Warosaurs. There's only a pair of them. They're young and only a 20% clap back chance. John Lovitz. <laughs> oh, that reminded me. Fucking thank you guys. Uh, when we were doing uh, impressions last week, and we were trying to place what my my terrible uh, Cheeto impression was. Not terrible. It's... Unique. <laughs> unique. <laughs> no, 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 but I realized what it was. It's uh, John Lovitz's Woody uh, uh, oh, oh. director. Oh, oh shit. my gosh. I, I, one's coming for you, Eric. My bad. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I was gonna say Harrelson. Uh, uh, oh shit! <laughs> I'm shooting him! I'm shooting him! You're never gonna <laughs> get in that go. door, man. No, that's that door. You're never. Okay, the dino knife is on. Ah, idiot! He's on. Oh. <laughs> okay yeah i was gonna say woody harrelson but who's the who's the director oh wait why is this oh he glasses? got back up i see <laughs> oh mushinto sorry buddy he needs a leg he can't fucking walk for shit we ain't got no legs. We ain't got no legs. We ain't got no heel root. You ain't got no legs. That's an old Bloodhound Gang song you're referencing unintentionally. Huh. Um, Woody Allen. That's what it is. That's what was coming through in my tr in my terrible Trump was uh, John Lovitz in doing an impression of Woody Allen. <laughs> Because I used to watch The Critic all the time when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of my old voices that I like haven't kept up on and haven't practiced in a long time that are just John Lovett's impressions from back then. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. That is that's where, she, where she sprung from. Any lasting damage, Eric? <laughs> no. You just want to okay. fucking bionic something else. Just looking for excuses to put robot does. parts on my friends. He's not even the one that got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, that were knowing to be intentional. Cause now I'm kind of suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a long ways to it. We still have plenty of time to escape. When's the planet killer? Ten years. Yep. Ten years. Uh... 
we'll just reinstall the sign into this little nook. Uh, but uh, double, doubling back for a sec, uh, despite the fact that, yes, I had a Night Elf in Classic and Vanilla, although I didn't join Vanilla until it was on, like, the final patch before. It wasn't pre-patch for Burning Crusade, but it was, like, mm. the final raid tier had already been released. I don't remember what that was, Nax? Or was yeah, that would have been, like, Black? 112 or something, probably. Yeah, I came in at the very tail end of Vanilla, so... Uh, but, I, but either way... I did was on a PvP server because that's where all all my hometown friends were playing, and that's why I'm on the server I was, and that's why I was Alliance because Alliance. Sure. No. Uh, which exactly. made the fact that I I was not ever going to I take no for an that. answer and having a, a raptor hard. for my hunter pet, and I wasn't satisfied, and I did my research with just running over there somewhere and getting a raptor. I had to have something cool, so I went for Tack the Leaper. Is that the one that was like? number two or number one hunter pet in vanilla because it had like insane attack speed or something not not attack speed because it had, uh run speed it could oh, almost okay. run down like characters on mount so it was a pvp battlegrounder that's cool for uh uh however when i went after it it was like shortly after it got nerfed so not everybody was there to tame it right. but i was still a, a level barely 20 night elf in fucking northern barons like that, that's still one of my Good fondest chance, memories yeah. in all of WoW was going in there because this was when I had no idea. I had never rolled. I, maybe I started like an orc or something or a troll, but I had never gotten to the barons. I didn't know yeah. the layout of the place. I was st and I was in there as a night elf, stealthing in oh, with track humanoids beginning. on. The crops are uh, dying from cold. No, it's only the second of December. It's not even my birthday yet. Yeah, there's a lot of cool, like, moments that come out of, like, vanilla that can just never come back. Like, right. Well, the, not just the, vanilla, the but of, like, of, like, being the first time playing. Because yeah. I didn't, be, being not a horde player, I had no idea there was a flight path there. So it took me a long time of watching my radar to realize why I kept seeing humanoids come barreling at me. And not, and I'd go and run and hide and stealth, or shadow meld, mm -hmm. and just hunker down and wait till the red dot was gone. Oh, man, it was good times i actually didn't die much in the barrens because at that point in vanilla most people were not fucking around in northern barrens for no reason or the northern end of the barrens uh it was on my way through the night elf area that's the deep dark woods is it dark shore not dark shore it the south of dark shore like the next it's the 20 to 30 zone ashenvale uh, ashenvale sounds right so yeah, Ashenvale, I died a I got ganked a lot. Ashenvale still... was a shithole. <laughs> there was yeah. always people PvP in there, because I think the environment was really conducive to it. Big trees, lots of shit to hide behind. Yeah, I guess, I definitely believe that was a big part of it. and like That got old real fast. That I wasn't trying to engage. I was running on like minimum gear intentionally. I think another big Dialogue. part of the Ashenvale a hotspot was like just the layout of fucking Black Fathom Deeps being on the shoreline and all the Horde players having to run past the fucking Alliance Town to get over there. It just set it up for failure by having, you know, Horde players near the Alliance Town like habitually at low level just to get picked on, basically. This is like one Myasaur at the front gate. Do you want to die? Because you're going to die. <laughs> Green Venom just walks over, shoots it twice, and it dies. Fantastic. Literally stop making a trap to just go kill this thing for me. I didn't even tell her to. She just did it on her own. <laughs> well, you flagged it. Well, yeah, I flagged it for one thing. It'd be weirder if... Venom just went over to do it without any flagging or prompting. Yeah. She was just oh, like, it, it, it bothered me. Did, did you take a look at that Stardew RimWorld Reddit post I linked? I, I started looking, but I was at work, so I couldn't really like go through it other than I seen like one comment in there saying, uh, Lewis immediately promo proposed to Marnie like yeah. a few days in. 
I just like the concept. It's way too much setup work to make like all the fucking villagers, but it's a very funny concept. Uh, oh, I would do that. That's, that's the away? shit. Oh, because this door. That's the shit I I lived for was to like in Sims as I did shit like that. So I'm all behind it. I would have loved building those characters and like I would have got super into making the characters, but then when it's time to play, like then I'm like then the interest drops off really quickly. Sims is the same way for me. I'll put a fuck ton of effort into making perfect sim, or not perfect, but like good representation of people and play and stuff and houses, and then start the game and it's like, well, I'm good. Shit hole. Okay, we finally. I think we finally sorted out the boomalopes. I forgot to lock the door, so they all start running away, which kind of solves the problem, but not in the way it's intended to be solved. All right, who should do the honor? Maybe Green Venom. She's right here. I'll just uh, shoot that one. <laughs> oh. Uh, it sort of worked. This one is burning because it's not in the water, but. Food poisoning? No! No. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing there, kid? Well, at least you're in water. It's all right. <laughs> I think that's water anyway. He ran in to pick up the animal, and he stood on the burning fucking coals. Uh, I don't know why. And then he lit the fucking AI. carcass on fire, so now the carcass is going to burn up. <laughs> no, I'm still... <laughs> oh, it's Daniil. Uh, that's fantastic. I love this game. It's not been that bad. No, no, he's grabbing meds. Unsurprising. Oh, Daniil is starving. What the hell? Why? Oh, trivial. Okay. Okay, yeah, he just didn't get food until starvation kicked in for some reason. That just happens occasionally. Because they're stupid. What if we should... Uh, yes, we do have Boomasaurus office. There's also, I think, a bigger version, too. Whoa. Oh, you're shooting. Okay. I'm just shooting blindly into the fucking herd. <laughs> Can't see this going negatively at all. Wait, how is that one able to escape? Escape? Where? Oh, yeah. Is it because it's really lassoed weird. that it can do that? That's a weird bug. If I scroll up to that Boomasaurus office... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm new to this. Sea no! ice. <laughs> oh, Jesus I slipped myself on fire. <laughs> yeah, you got lucky there. <laughs> Jesse, what is sea ice? Uh, sea ice is when you start on the fucking ice cap of the planet with literally just nothing. Like, Damn. super freezing, and it's just oceanic ice as far as the I can see. Damn, that's that sounds like the murder snow in Ark. Yeah, it's probably the equivalent to, to that, based on just title alone. Right. Yeah, negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Peaks. Uh oh, another one's on fire, Jesse. Might move. Might move. If that one stays lit. Oh, so you gotta be very cool with cannibalism. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you, you end up depending a lot on the raids bringing stuff to you. <laughs> uh, there's... Oh, who did I... Is, is it maybe Ambiguous Amphibian that's got some runs of sea ice? I don't remember. 
Somebody hmm. has really good sea ice runs that I remember watching on YouTube like two years ago. Eric, why are you tending an animal that's going to explode on you? <laughs> I don't know. I should be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> there are more important things. I Those should be still in the hospital. No, you're tending more animals and riding a polacanthus. Okay, we gotta. I gotta. I gotta actually kill these animals. Or we're gonna. Waste My resources. AI empathy is out of way. <laughs> Shoot it! Shoot it! Okay, this is not a good situation. Not a good strategy. No. <laughs> this this method is uh, it's not it's not the best. I think all the babies are dead though. That's something. And the one's on fire, maybe that'll go. Oh, is this one still alive? Oh yeah, this one's still alive. Or can fire not spread off of something that's moving? Uh, yeah, I don't think fire can't spread from from uh moving animal to moving animal. Oh, okay. Alright, all well, the babies are exploded. Job hmm. done. Wait, so a relic quest. The relic quest was for an oven? A, a Rimworld yeah. relic? I don't know. I, I'm just going off what uh, Quirky's relaying to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the expert at this game. That's Athanapis. I am very new to all this. Oh, yeah. Here, are you okay? Why? I know what's going on. <laughs> Wait, why? Why am I down? <laughs> why do you have double assault rifles? You fucking oh, dual oh, wielding? I'm, I'm, I am stoned as a bejesus. <laughs> <laughs> Food poisoning and stoned on smoke leaf. Yeah, that'll uh, do it. That Dude's... is a uh, double whammy for sure. Yep. <laughs> Rolling in the dirt, <laughs> spraying vomit on on the raptors that are coming over to eat. All Dinosaurs this are shit. just taking shit. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't want me to throw up getting, on it. Getting mugged by dinos. <laughs> no, they they feel bad for me. It's the the homeless guy on the street and the dino yeah. are just coming up and like, uh, don't don't ignite, don't engage. Just yeah, just grab the shit and leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, the big bada boom. Ah, oh, well, if I want to get up off my ass any time, that'd be great. Fix your weapon assignment, Garrett. You were... For some reason, you had double assault rifles assigned, which is weird. What? I think I went to go pick up one, but yeah, I never dropped the other one, because one of them was nice or something. Yeah, I've just never seen it, like, in the UI as a stacked, like, assault rifle with a little two scribbled over it. I've just never... <laughs> I didn't know that they would just stack up if it was the same item like that, which is weird. That was me Why are pulling these my best. Dinonychus Blair Witching in the corner up here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Blair Witching. The, no, no, no. They're doing the uh the uh they're preparing to migrate. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went for the really wrong reference, man. You know better. It's like every once in a while, they just go to the side of the cave and stare very intently in one direction. They're listening for the ship. They know the planet killer is ten years out. Yeah. Okay, I'm up again. Actually, they weren't, they weren't ignoring me. I just looked at my log. I dropped uh, from the food poisoning, sure, but like several Deinonychus and Troodons and things all came up and like were like nuzzling me. Like, you want to play? You want to play? No, nope, don't want to play. I want to roll on the floor too. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at all this vomit, guys. It's rolling this shit right away. <laughs> Deinonychus have like full-on Labrador behavior. 
Okay, we got an eye coming in a split second here. Who needs an eye? I don't remember, but somebody does need an eye. Might have been you. And if somebody if somebody doesn't need an eye, they're about to need one very quickly. Yeah, I've got a scratched eye, but I thought somebody was full missing an eye still. I think it's just you and your scratched eye, and you're just like, I need it. Yeah, it looks like it is my eye. I don't know why that was the one that was prioritized so highly. Oh, I don't think it was. I think it just happened to get Mushinto picked up the job bill. And so I moved it up to make sure it got fucking finished because it was sitting in storage forever. Mm. Hey, Eric, are you uh, sober and not know your food poison? Okay. <laughs> What does that poisoning start from? I don't even remember. From the meals. We got some tainted meals running around. Thought we cleaned that all up. Oh gosh, there's a psychic drone? Holy shit. Yeah, Probably we got a psychic drone one. as well, too. So we're going to have some uh, mental breaks kicking off. Yeah, we are. Okay, AO is okay here. AO can do it. Last week was like too reasonable amount of like fuckery so this week it's gonna just start throwing yep, it at there us. There we go, there's the first one. Tantrum. Eats loves a smashing what? Event. Okay. Hardly the worst thing. Give it time. I know, I know. All right, I'm putting that eye in my skull with AO. I'm making AO do it. As long as he doesn't smash the fucking TV. Mm -hmm. Or that Tyrannosaurus egg, which hatches in point one days. Come on, little dude, you can make it. His egg's all fucked up. Do I have an eye? I have an eye! I am the future! Aye aye? Yes. You're not even the first one to have one, dude. Knuckle and Green have had yeah. one before you, and who yeah. knows who else. Oh, he's smashing an animal bed. Party! Party. <laughs> we need that! <laughs> we need that real bad. In the vomit infused fucking gaming room. If we can actually get it to happen. I think the last few have been cancelled. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot and I don't know, I feel like it happens in mod packs a lot. Maybe that is also a thing with base game. A lot of parties getting cancelled and I just always play mod packs, so it seems to me that it's a mod thing, but mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, Tyrannosaurus 3, we got a new buck. We got Junior. Gonna get bodied by a Spino. That's a fan theory and is not canon. I'll show you a canon. It's like, well, if it wasn't Junior, where did the Rex come from, Jesse? Well... Uh, if you believe in DPG marketing material, seven T-Rexes were cloned originally. Mm. Which is a number that comes from Trespasser. <laughs> is that how many Rex bosses you have to face in Trespasser? Yeah, there's seven, six Rexes because Rexy's the seventh. Um, which is, she was obviously moved off Sorna. And there's explicit, like, you know, Hammond voice lines referring to the seven, you know, rulers of Isla Sorna or whatever. The seven Rexes that were cloned. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't in the book, though, right? No, no. Yeah, book, book was just uh, Rexy and the Juvenile, which uh, takes out Regis. And then the Sorna Rexes, of course. Well, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so four, I guess, in the novel. Although there could have been more on Sorna, technically, but... Well, besides the hatchlings, which uh, yeah, yeah. finished off. Did they get Dodgson in the book or somebody else? I don't remember anymore. I feel like Dodgson in The Lost World bites it to the bay. Somebody gets crippled like Ludlow in the Rex nest. 
Yeah. We got a berserk. Uh, Daniil is gonna. My um, love for you is ticking clock berserker. I'm gonna go smash him with a club. Would oh, you shit. like wait, to wait, suck wait, wait, my cock berserker? Animals, 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 animals. My love for you is like a truck berserker. Would you like some making fuck berserker? I'm glad you're enjoying this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Get him! You stunned him. Get him! You're winning. I I am a bionic man, and he is a mere prosthetic man. I should be winning. <laughs> <laughs> I am a medieval man. What, what, uh, what do you want? Why do you keep touching me? What? Dude, we were just talking WoW and you don't remember me, man. No, I don't. Oh I'm my god. I'm going on Nexus. Fixing that. I have no idea what this is. I, th I There's no way back in that day of the internet... You've heard this, but you forgot about it. I almost assure you. It is possible. My clothes are tattered, you bitch. Oh, and I dropped him on the ground and vomited on him. Beautiful. That's off the Warcraft 2 OST, even. Maybe I should have built this ground penetrating scanner by like a some sort of fucking heat source. I broke around in confusion because of anesthetic. Damn it. Oh yeah, I should check Daniil and see if I smash any bits off of him. Nope, he's fine. Oh, I wonder if we could probably just slap a heater down next to the thing. Next to the scanner. Cause it, we do have proxy heat. Let's try that. A little science experiment. Oh god, it's looking real cold out there. You guys remember what cold is like, right? We're from yep. Wisconsin, so yeah. Yeah, this is more. This is a global warming joke, but talk to me when I can't ice fish anymore, which was already last year. Yeah. <laughs> Just a matter of like if it can happen multiple years in a row, if like it'll finally start scaring the boomers around here. We'll see. It's one of those things that, like, tr sucks in that way, but it's, like, just... Just to have that, like... The shutdown on the on the boomer bit of... Put, bring a snowball into... Uh, the court... Or the Senate House. And be like, does this look like global warming to you? Yeah. It's like, we can... No oh, no. This is gonna be bad. Flash storm in the middle of winter. It should be actually bad at all because oh. the little plants are all dead, so it won't spread very far. Oh yeah, good point. Good point. Also, it's localized, so we might lose some trees, which is a bummer. Yeah, it could hit a few of those stands of trees up there, but that's about it. All right, there goes that. Now if we can just get this fucking psychic drone to end. Mm. I'm ready for the uh, the raid to happen here during the psychic drone. Right. It's usually how it goes. You're like, oh, things are going pretty good. Psychic drone, fucking raid. Oh no. Mm, this one's trying to spread a little. I'm gonna run up there just in case. The one inside the uh, the wall. 
In fact, a couple of them are managing to get some distance. Oh, yeah. Well, I like that proxy he has melted the snow around him. That's really cool. It is. I just don't want to lose... There's a couple of these uh, that are going to be good for... Uh, yeah, actually, as the snow melts, you can see the plants coming back from underneath the snow. Yeah, that's a problem. That's really funny. This might be inadvertently worse than expected because of the mods. It's a good call in controlling the one inside the wall there. Yeah. I wonder if we could use this to feed the animals. Uh, I might need somebody else to help me. Oh, actually, I should use the... this. The drone isn't affecting the the women, right? I think so. I think it's just... Yeah, just... I me. should... Okay. I'm not gonna go out there. <laughs> so yourself. Um, I I believe in uh the rain, but maybe will it there's rain? not gonna be any rain. It's December. Yeah. Will it? It's just gonna snow. Will, will it? Yeah. I wonder with the mod allowing the ground to thaw out. I wonder if it's supposed to. If, if the frozen ground is supposed to be what controls the fire spread in winter. It's not doing it right now, I can tell you that much. No, well, whatever. It's it's sort of contained. It can burn through it's like one stained. one doorway and then that's it. Everything else is tunnels, so I mean like that section of the map, right? Because it can't spread through the cave there, it can't spread through the cave there. So as long as this door doesn't burn down, the fire can't go anywhere. So we could literally just stay there, defend the door from the inside, and then the fire won't have anywhere to jump to to get to the door after it burns through the existing vegetation. Okay. Got the one part of it. <laughs> Jesus. The fact that the foliage doesn't completely uncover right away though it does keep it from spreading really fast yeah but it's still spreading i wonder if we need more hydroponics probably i'd go out on a hunt but i like don't want to do it while the thing is still happening. Oh, drone is in there. Great. Good. Okay. Get it from stop from spreading backwards it actually feels like Yeah, get the fire break going. Yeah, basically it's I'm letting it fire break itself is what's happened here. We have so much fucking silver. And like nothing good to spend it on. Yeah, it does suck a little bit being uh, kind of basic like that. I'm thinking trade caravan to one of the cities, see what we can buy that's worth it. Because I, what I remember, the um, trade goods in the bases were a bit better than what we've seen from caravans. I I trust you on that. So if we grab a bunch of animals, load up a ton of silver, and just roll out and see what we can pick up, it might be worth it. Um, so send out your dreams of honey to go do this probably with some friends to back up I, got this we might not want to do this during winter though no 100% don't want to
Although it's a long time till spring, I'm not looking forward to waiting that long. I'll forget I want to do this. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to remind you. Oh, shit. I got a hypothermic mono. My bonded monoclonius. Oh, are they not? Oh, fuck. They're not. Um... It's just the centrosaur. That's it. Yeah, they're not. They're not set for winter. Okay, hold on. We got to get him inside. I think he's he bonded to me, actually. Yeah. Oh, did it? Oh. Yeah. I can't. Oh, that sucks then. That was supposed to be mine, dick. Yeah. That's why I named it. It happens. Uh, well, if it, it's gonna die, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, get him a animal bed made and put him inside. He's already got like massive frostbite. Oh yeah, he just died because. No, nope, there. There were. Well, that resolved itself. Rip. Yep. He wasn't going to survive here like that. Negative eight penalty for him dying. Too bad. Too bad, too bad. Well, he's dinner. Rip. He, he died like he lived. Cold, what, alone, what? and afraid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I was just going to say worthless or fucking ass up but face down ass up but yeah I like yours better <laughs> really that's maybe gonna be Man. dangerous yeah. <laughs> at least it's just a solar flare right how long can that that will last on that long like, yeah a day a day but like okay first off on wait unhappy nudity oh machine took his fucking pants off Why'd you take your fucking pants off in the middle of winter, you psychopath? Because <laughs> he's got to be free. Yeah, how's Knuckle holding up here? Oh, hypothermic shivering. Yeah, okay. Time for you to put on a parka, my dude. Yeah, see, enough of us are wearing parkas. <laughs> yeah, we should be fine. With the parkas. We'll get debuffs for sleeping in the cold, I imagine, but I don't think we'll, right. we'll go uh, hypothermic. Unless, unless, unless we have uh, mental breaks kick in. Mm -hmm. okay. Like Daniel. Oof, we are down to... Th this, this is what's going to be rough. We're down to 37 meals, right? Yeah. A day without cooking is going to hurt. We uh we might want to slap down a campfire. Gonna sing kumbaya on Wonderwall or what? Cook, cook meals at a campfire. Ooh, Wonderwall. I, I, I'd rather play some Oasis, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I maybe. Okay, it's a nope. Oh, there we go. Cancel. You're good. Nice, You're be the one nice that short me. fucking. Cancel the Wonder Wall. God damn it. Nice <laughs> short... No, nope, it's too late. <laughs> it's, just, it's the Cancel Wonder Wall. It's already, it's already enacted. Look, that's like the Oasis. <laughs> Today. That was very. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> So you're gonna. So what you're saying is, Eric, you're gonna be the one that saves me. You're my Wonder Wall, Garrett. Yep. Because after all, <laughs> <laughs> ah, we should, you're right though. We should switch to Champagne Supernova. Way better. <laughs> yeah, I like them both. I mean, I was the one that was just. Where were you while we were getting high? I tell you guys, I'm going to go to a goth music festival next year. In New Jersey. In New Jersey. Shocking. They're renting out a whole hotel for three days. In New uh, Jersey. You and the, the, the girlfriend? Hell? No, just me. <laughs> Fleshfield was Wait, playing seriously? for the first time in 20 years. so. Um, and, uh, and you're not. That, that was the reason why. Yep. 
Well, I told her about it. She's free to come. <laughs> <laughs> but she's not interested in those bands. Not enough what to come to America. Do? She's more interested in the electronic side than the industrial side of things. Like, we might go to some music festival shit when I go to visit her, but it won't be... It won't be that. <laughs> it won't be... <laughs> yeah. You, you should uh, both come back for Force Field. Oh, yeah, on. we did talk about this, because you talked about Force Field, and I talked about mine was Dark Force. Mm -hmm. They're both Force in the title. I remember this yep. conversation now. You triggered my memory. Welcome. <laughs> I'm all about oh, no. triggering people. Not your memory. <laughs> okay. A Animal Purge already, maybe? Do it sooner rather than later? We have meat. It just needs to be cooked. Yeah, Look but I'm, I'm... Hundreds. Like, we can keep hunting. There's yeah, we, we don't vehicles. have any obvious animals to kill because everything's, like, trained yeah, we out. do. Yeah, and, oh, I thought... Oh, wildlife, I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, there's a Lona Margosaurus. There's a trio. I already flagged the Iguanodon. Because they're such a ten, they're such a low uh, clapback chance. Yeah, I'll go do a hunting trip or something a little deadlier tomorrow morning. I mean, a Margo theory. Pentrosaurus is have... self-tamed, and it will be promptly murdered. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, look who just volunteered for the spit roast. We are putting an apple in that thing's mouth. <laughs> I like that this Kentro is sleeping right next to a Chunkingosaurus. Like, uh... oh. Now I feel bad about that one. It's like it's pretend baby. I always liked Kentros. I have a, just, an immense fondness for Chunkingosaurus from JWE just because I like his his little fucking neck waddle and fucking yeah the hop the neck waddle his little little cute face. I don't know. He works for me. So as a much more reasonable person towards these sort of things what are your anticipations for why we're getting okay. a three a fairy getting a three what uh jurassic world evolution three. Oh, because we're getting a new movie well besides the movie like no, what do you it. think will be the justification <laughs> for not but no but at least in two they brought in the wild dinos and the wrangling and stuff and yeah, the but... uh, aquatics and the aviaries Oh, yeah. Okay. So the real reason, so the reason they made two, right? Because the first game didn't scale well with new mechanics, and yep. there was a sequel movie, so time to make a sequel game. So in terms of three, well, the game does scale decently well with new mechanics. So in that sense, it doesn't really need a new one. But right. That's that's the, what I was. The eternal grind like, of not? capitalism dictates that products must be produced. <laughs> so right. I was just wondering, oh. I, I think the gimmicks we'll see to justify three's existence are going to be legitimately gimmicks games. this time. Like, I'm expecting. Um, <laughs> Psych suits female. Awesome. Like, uh, I'm expecting mammals to be a selling point, even though mechanically they won't add anything to the game. Theory, theory is fucking nothing, right? You think that's why they explicitly didn't bring the Smilodon in despite the Camp Cretaceous push? I just think they didn't bring the in the Smilodon just because it didn't fit the vibe of the first game, but I think I think it's it'll be used as, as a yeah as a yes second game, but I think it'll be used as motivation for why animals are in the franchise in the third game. I don't think it's that they held it back, but I think it provides a convenient impetus for them to push a new section of the roster into the third. Um, hmm. So yeah, should we kill this theory? I think they don't tame. They don't train for shit, if I remember right. Yeah, they're only tameness. We could keep it as a mascot, like the Kamarasaurus that we have, or we could just eat him because he's made of meat. Oh, are they decent for travel? That I don't remember. I don't remember how we even evaluated what was decent for travel. Uh, there's like hall stuff and things like where. Hold on, let me. I I was doing this before on other stuff. Let me find him. Three cells for second move speed. No idea if that's good. Caravan riding speed 100%, carry capacity 300. That's eh, not bad. Oh, they're not even the a pack animal. Oh, then wow, yeah, this thing's... That's Chow. Yeah. Whoa, where's this blade? Oh, no. Oh shit. That's 
really bad. Okay, people are on the way, I think. Daisuke's at least, so I'm gonna let it go. Anybody okay. else? Got all blighted plants order registered. If you go to orders and you right click on cut plants, they're specifically cut blighted plants. That's a mod feature. Okay. Oh, is that a guanadon killing anybody? I saw a guanadon I wasn't paying attention. No, it's it's fine. I I went and monitored. It's okay. fine. It's fine. I was trying to find Theory in the animal list, and I forgot like three different times over what I was looking for while I was staring at all the animals. Hold on, this it didn't work. Whatever you were talking, the thing the order did not work. It's I it's can cut it's it. not a prioritized order. Okay. It just sets the order for them to do it, but I sent I sent Daisuke in here to help. Okay. We should probably just get a couple of people in there and lock the fucking door behind them. Why? Because then they'll they'll only do jobs they can find in this room, which is oh right, cut which plants. is exactly what's happening here. All right, lock the door. Oh, I mean forbid, not just like door lock lock. Well, it did the same thing. Well, we sort need more of, people nope. in here though. Are we just gonna lock Daisuke and let him do it? For now, yeah. Let's get okay. send another person that way and then unlock it when they get there because Daisuke just stopped doing his shit. Is it uh? Is the shift supposed to be over? What is he doing? No, it's like 9 a.m. Go to work, you shit. Okay, he's working. It's harvesting first because job priority is terrible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Nexith is there and I'm there, so... Nexith can't help on that. Never mind. I don't know what Nexith is doing up here. Hauling, maybe? If he came on his own? I don't know. Oh, he's cleaning. Alright, door is relocked. The lock mod, they'll have to somebody actually have to do it, so it's better to just forbid it. Like, somebody oh, okay. physically has to come over to change the lock status. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, I stopped to eat. We can we Good. can put we can put Nexus on this temporarily and let him help. Um, we'll just put it at like a four, and then he'll only do it when he's locked in here. Wait, was it Nexus? Yeah. All right, we're on it now, though. They're actually doing what they should be doing. Taking a lunch break. Nexus is so bad at this. Look at me tear through this shit. Yeah. It's More like next if, I bet, next if I bet you I can cut through twenty five of these plants before you can cut through one. What would it, you it give is me? it is very, very funny to see the uh, the difference in work speeds. Like when you're trying to train up a fresh miner and you send him and a real miner to the same vein to work next to each other, and just boom, one's just gone, the other one's still sitting there all night chipping away at one rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like next has the last one, which okay. Yep. Yeah. We can leave now, although... Oops. I also tried to un forbid the door and re-forbid it. Yep. It's like, go with the fucking handle. <laughs> God, I, I, I still am beside myself. That that ended up being the first F-bomb of Marvel and not Deadpool. Wait, what was? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, I never saw it. Had, had Marvel <laughs> Cinematic Universe's first F-bomb. Hmm. In, was... like, such an unexpected place. It was kind of wonderful. I mean, it's James Gunn, so that, that part isn't unexpected, but... Yeah, the line I just said, let go of the fucking handle, because they have one of those uh, trying to unlock a car door moment. Fun. Yeah, very... So I should probably watch that at some point. Dude, the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy is really fucking solid. Have you seen the first two? Yeah, I've seen the first two. Yeah, and three wraps it up so nicely. It was, like, the, it was, was... the only Marvel movie after like the post-Avengers Spider-Man that I had any interest in seeing. I just never did, because interest is not, oh my god, I must see this. Right, but no, I'd, I'd say take the time to watch it, definitely. I also never saw Dune 2, which was much higher on my movie ranking month want to see list then. Well, 
It's like, what do you mean Fucking never? It's Guardians. barely, it's barely out. Like, it just started coming. It's not even on physical. I think it's just coming to streaming now. Dune 2? Yeah. It was out in, like, December, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't, well, maybe it's physical. But I know, like, there's still commercials playing for it. Like, this is on streaming now. Watch it. For HBO Max. Like, they're, I mean, that's just them pushing it, too. But still. Murder. Uh, but yeah, by all means, watch that. Uh, Eric, were you gonna come to uh, Deadpool tomorrow? Uh, when are you planning on going? I'm going to the nine o'clock showing in nine o'clock. That might be yep. a little late for me. Fair enough. I'm Let going. No, I. I sure. already got. I got my ticket weeks ago. Well, week and a half, week or a half ago, whatever. Maybe not plural. I don't know. I'll definitely gonna... try to catch it sometime that week. I've I've been hearing that it what it is is uh, and this is what I suspected, and I I'm glad to hear more of it. Is more stuff that came out about it, and like I wasn't looking for leaks, but when leaks came, I came across them. I didn't like, oh god, close the screen or pretend I didn't see it. It's like, oh, that's pleasant to hear. That's nice. And it's like, uh, you play, you played Mass Effect, right? Yeah. Uh, apparently, I'm hearing this movie, or the way, what I'm hearing about it makes me think that a perfect comparison to it is the Citadel DLC from 3. Oh, okay. That it's a, a massive swan song love letter to Fox's Marvel. Mm -hmm. Which is a funny thing to say, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's quality. I mean, that's why we have you know fucking uh, Wolverine involved in this so heavily to begin with. Is yeah. like nobody denies Hugh Jackman's quality as Wolverine despite his height. Yeah, there's like mm -hmm. two or three decent X Men movies, right? Out of yeah, eighty or whatever the fuck they made. <laughs> <laughs> I like First How Class. Many... I like Logan. Whatever. First Class, Logan. At it, at the time, the first X Men was very good. Yeah, the classic like X Men One, X Men Two are just too far removed for me to have an opinion about. So mm. that's why I didn't include them in the list. I'm sure they're good for the they time, did. at least, if not still holding up. Because I do hear fond things about X Men Two, but also I don't give a shit. So. See, I never thought X Men Two was that phenomenal back then. I. Am one of those heathens that likes X Men Three way more because God. it was the first time we got to see the X Men just not being, hey, here's some super powered individuals. Like, no, here's a fucking team. Here is coordination and like cohesion and people that are, you know, like that. That's what I loved. Is for, like you can take out the first seventy five percent of the third X Men Three, and I don't give a fuck. It is when you get to that the ba the final fights the big echo epic climactic battleground shit for the island for the the uh, the cure like that's the entire movie for me. It's like that is I don't give a shit about the rest of it. You can I can take it or leave it. But that was something that was never offered like that. That just drove me nuts. I, I that's one that was my always my nitpick with the first two X Men movies is it was always like little one on one battles and shit like this here and there, and yeah. I'm like that's not what that's not the point of the X Men that's Spider Man shit right there. Like I and we had this we had the Raimi Spider Man movies back then showing how to do that better than the X Men movies were. Like Wolverine versus uh, Sabretooth or Wolverine versus uh, Lady Deathstrike. Storm versus Toad, versus you know like there were just all these little one on one battles all over. So boring. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think... remember much from that era of superhero shit. The Raimi stuff is probably what stands out the most, and that's just because right. it's got Raimi style shit going on. Right, which was, which I did appreciate somebody posting just randomly. I think in the Marvel subreddit of, uh. Multiverse of... Did you see Multiverse of Madness? I did not. The Doctor Strange? Okay. That was post-Infinity War. I was done. Right. That Remember, that's where we got Raimi in the MCU. 
So it also meant I did Bruce Campbell. Wait, like did he? What do you mean we got Raimi? Direct. Oh, oh, right. I totally forgot because like there wasn't. Yeah, Ted Raimi directed Multiverse of Madness. He's freaking hit Wait, with Ted. Ted Raimi or, or Sam? Or, uh, Steve. Or Sam Raimi, sorry, not his brother. Sam Raimi directed not... the late, last uh, Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, sorry, I, I got to mix. I got to mix up with Joxer for a second. I mean, right? I'm not. I'm not like a huge Raimi fan. Like, I like his oh, movies, okay. but it's not like Ooh, Raimi. I'm gonna go see this. If it's good and it's by Raimi, then I'll be more interested than I would be. But if it's, if the reviews are are mixed, the fact that it's Raimi is not gonna be the thing that gets me out to see it. Gotcha. No, see, I'm on the side of, uh, as long as it's Raimi leaning more to the side of Army of Darkness, I'm always in. Yeah. I, when it's, yeah, when like, uh, I don't know, it just, it, I'm not into the horror movie stuff, so like Drag Me to Hell and things like that don't really interest me. What about Evil Dead 2? Eh, it's getting there, but I still like Army of Darkness way more. Such a lightweight. <laughs> I don't make any happy polylogies about that. Watching some fucking clockwork? <laughs> so listen to the soundtrack, at least. That's also something I keep thinking about with, uh, like, the, the, the brain rot slang that's coming up more and more. That oh. people our ages are around our ages like, oh, what? Flying is there. I'm like, dude, don't even try and pretend that our shit wasn't as confusing to the older generations, despite the fact that we had no problem following it. Like it is. Yeah. I I, I applaud the people who can who are aware of it and do the. It's like I used to be hip, and then they changed what it. Or I used to be with it, and then they changed what it was. It's like it's always going to be changing. And that's and what I think of whenever these the the griping comes up is I think of stuff like Clockwork Orange trying to anticipate slang, and sure getting it wildly incorrect in their own guessing, but not in the fact of like it's going to be well that hard to true that's hard part, part that... of slang right you can't really guess it because it's such an emergent thing anyway all you can do right. is invent your own for your product and. It'll never be right, but it, that could never expect it to be. No, it, it, but nobody some... should expect that either. On the other side, right? But then sometimes you get shit like uh, the current Quick Trip advertising, which says that chicken has riz. Oh Christ! I was I was gonna say the uh, you you saying the clock of war stuff there, then bringing up uh, modern slang that the kids is using. Makes me think that actually is one of the best examples of slang because it's pretty stupid. Yeah. R real horror show. Yeah, it's a it's, a, it's that's what makes it accurate. If you yeah. if you hear it and you go, nobody would ever talk like that, and then well, that probably is because people would talk like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Skibbity toilet. I still don't know what that one's supposed to even mean. It's a video. It's a oh, okay. it's a a fucking what do you call it? What the fuck did you just do, Nexus? Did you did you did you put that in your pocket? Did you put a diplocolis? You put a diplocolis in your pocket. <laughs> the fuck? Dude, nothing wrong oh, with shit. having a pocket cell, man. He's got a you fog strap. <laughs> need his coat. He's packing. That was a Viagra Boys reference for the uninformed. I knew that sounded familiar for some reason. Go put that in the freezer. I, I was listening to a couple of the, the this just streaming a couple of the albums because I'm I see them once in a while in the vinyl stores in Eau Claire, mm -hmm. and it's like I they're like. They're on my want list, but they're pretty low on it. And it's one of those things where I was listening through them just like to verify. I'm like, am I into this? Is this something I'm going to listen to? I'm like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and I got reminded, and when I hit one of the best in show skits, it, it me, I immediately had to go and rewatch the uh, the Pal World short. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot I did that. 
Thank you for reminding me of my own work. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. I was uh, blasting that album in the car this week. That was the one that got in my CD rotation. Nice. I like that CDs are managing to hold on a little bit. Well, I certainly am not going to invest in any other new system for my 2001 POS car. Well, no, I know, but I mean, just more of, I have a 2011 and I have a CD player as well. So, I mean, I get, and that's why I'm glad of that is I have the option. The, the, the last iPod I got, the UI was just dog shit. And it like really turned me off of using iPods again. I mean, that's iOS in a fucking nutshell, man. Like the fact that. I loaded all my albums up and it gave every every song its own version of the album instead of compiling them into the same album like you would assume any yep. logical fucking device would do mm -hmm. was immediately like hey, like I'm not going back through and sorting this shit out. Fuck this shit. Nope. Yep. Luckily I like to randomize all. So yeah, I, I'm okay. that's... I I'm usually okay with that, but yes, the times when I want to listen to an album, which has, although I I feel like I've almost backed off on it more now that I've started collecting vinyl, because if I want to hear an album front to back, I buy the vinyl. We got a trader in the kill box. We also got a oh, time. They're, they're fucking off. They're leaving. <laughs> what? To, where are we at? We should be well over. Oh yeah, we're at an hour six. We got we got Goodbye. talking old Fugita 